Mind's ear exercises are tough. If you are having a hard time getting through some of them, you are not alone, especially when it comes to the reps that don't let you hear your side. This can be quite challenging. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some techniques to help you get better at these, as well as show you some features that we have to help you get through them. The first thing you've got to do for all Mind's ear exercises is sing the hidden music. You've got to be able to sing it back accurately because that shows that you truly know it up here, that you truly know it in your ear, which you must be able to do in order to figure out what it is. And by singing it, you internalize it. You become extremely close to it. You can start to hear all the details in it. For example, let's start with this one. Ba -da -da -da. Or say a rhythmic one like this hi-hat velocity mind's ear. And notice I am really trying to be as accurate as I possibly can, you know, loud versus soft. Like I'm trying to nail it, be able to sing it perfectly. Here's an example with grace notes and legato. So I'm really singing the legatos, the grace notes. I'm trying to sing every little detail. It, this even applies to chord-based mind's ears, like this one. Well, there's two notes there, so I'm gonna try and sing them separately. Ba -da, ba -da. You'd be amazed at how much easier it is to figure out the chords when you can sing the individual notes. So that's the first thing you gotta do in all mind's ear exercises, sing it. Now, if after singing it, you're still having a hard time, or maybe you're just struggling to sing it, so the next thing I want you to try is see if there are any previous Mind's Ears that apply to this one and see how you're doing on those. Because if you can't really do well on the previous one, you're definitely not gonna be able to do well on the current one. For example, here's Mind's Ear 13. This is where we sing a four note sequence out of these pitches, one, two, flat three, three, and five. So what would be the previous one to this? Which one did this build upon? Well, let's go into the table of contents. Here's Mind's Ear 13. Let's go back, Mind's Ear 12. That's one less pitch, check out the two, but it's in a low range. So let me see, let me keep going. Okay, mine's your 11. That's the same thing, a four note sequence, but it's removed the two. So it's one step easier, right? So let's go back to that one. Try it out a few times, see how you're doing with that. If you did it on easy mode, try it on medium mode. If you did it on medium mode, try it on hard mode. Like really get strong at that previous one. And if that one's strong, it'll give you a much better shot at doing well in the current one. Now, if after singing and reviewing, you're still having a hard time, each Mind's Ear has some specific features that we've added to help you get through it. Let's start with this chord-based Mind's Ear. I have to put in the chord. Now, sometimes, you know, you just may not be hearing major or minor, you're not sure, especially when you have changed the range. You've gone to a new set of reps, you've got a new route, you may be completely drawing a blank. Like, I can't tell if this is major or minor. And oftentimes all you need to do is hear just the one, just the one pitch out of the chord. So down here, you'll see a one and this little button here, hit that. And now sometimes for many people hearing the one separate from the chord will then make the chord just more obvious. It'll give you like a frame of reference. If it doesn't, if you're still not sure, you can try major and minor. These will play more notes. You can compare them. And usually that'll give it away. Then you'll be able to tell whether it's major or minor. Lastly, if you're still not sure, you can play the actual notes here, right? You can try out different notes till you find ones that sound like they're part of the chord, and that'll help you a lot. You should be able to get it at that point. That would be last resort though, right? You wanna try and do it without tools, just by singing, then try auditioning just the one, then major, minor, then playing, right? Try to gradually make it easier for yourself instead of jumping right to the easiest helper. Now you'll find this audition helper as well as being able to play the individual notes in any pitch-based mind's ears, like chords or you know playing back like a four or five note melodic sequence. Now for more time-based or rhythm-based ones, like say here's a hi-hat velocity one, the first thing you wanna be able to do to make this easier for you is to slow down the tempo. Like right now we've got but you can go into here and just bring this down. Now 
This will give you more time to hear what's happening on a detailed level. This would also help with, say, grace notes and legato. By default, we've got... Let's slow it down. This will let you really dive into the details. And finally, some Minds Ears will have a pass percentage feature down here. So as you know, in order to complete one rep in a Minds Ear, you've got to get the notes perfectly. 100% to pass, which is what it shows here. But if you get three wrong, you'll see this drop down will unlock the next option, a lower percentage to pass. So now if you select that, maybe you'll be able to get one or two notes wrong. If you get three more reps wrong, you can unlock the next one and so on and so forth. So you can gradually give yourself some wiggle room. So that's one way to make it easier on yourself. And if you find you can never get 100%, like you really need some help, you can also go into preferences and you can set your initial mind's ear pass percentage to something lower than 100%. This is what the pass percentage will be when you first launch the mind's ear exercise. So you can lower it to 90% right off the bat or 80%. Overall, the key with all ear training is repetition. Your ear only learns through doing. So whether you're someone who feels like they're picking up ear training pretty easily or you're someone who's just having a really hard time, it doesn't matter. To get better, to make your ear stronger, you've just got to do over and over again. So do these exercises as much as you can and your ear will get stronger, I promise.